beautiful babes if you're feeling like you're carrying around a little bit too much of an extra load if you know what I mean today I am doing a salt water cleanse some people call it a master cleanse or salt cleanse or etc etc different things but today I have got to do this so right now it's about 10 o'clock in the morning 10 10 15 to be exact so I'm going to start the process here today first of all I have my water is heating up right now and I'm getting ready to fill up two jars of water in each jar I'm going to put in a teaspoon of Himalayan salt so I'm using Himalayan pink salt today in order to do my cleanse so we're going to start this today I am going to hopefully have a success with it because this is what I've had in the past so the water is actually getting ready to come to a boil I'm actually getting ready to weigh in as well okay my weigh-in has been done I'm getting ready to turn off my water I don't want it to boil boil uh, I just want it to kind of just get a little bit hot super hot so so I have my teaspoon here and I'm going to go ahead and put in a teaspoon of the salt in each one of the cups here I didn't have a, um, a picture that I wanted to use I just want to do it out of the jars here so I can drink it down so that's good now we're going to pour up the water here them off for just a moment and let the um and let the salt crystals dissolve in there so i'm just trying to rid some of this bloatiness oh my gosh it is so tight in here and goodness gracious just your girl has to keep at it. Just keep at it. All right, we're gonna let this process begin. Y'all, this was me on yesterday. Oh my goodness. I had my two 16 ounce containers of water and salt. Himalayan pink salt and as I went through this process I had no idea you know that um, whoo this time around for some reason it worked extremely fast for me which was good but your girl was like like feeling the blues after a while what I did was just shake it up I shook it up making sure all of the salt was dissolved and it was time it was time to consume this good stuff okay and i just wanted to let everybody know that if you're doing this try to gulp it down within five minutes i did it within five i'm pretty sure i probably did it even sooner than that i don't know but five minutes taking it down now just a few things i wanted to make mention of I wanted to be sure that if you're doing this, the persons who should not be doing this cleanse, let's talk about it. If you have high blood pressure that is not controlled, that's severe, that's, that's not good. Do not use it. If you have digestive issues, if you have kidney or heart disease or other serious medical conditions that could 
cause you some problems that you should be avoiding any kind of saline flushes or colon cleanses. Saltwater cleanses are not used or should not be used by pregnant women or breastfeeding women or children. Now, there can be some common side effects that would include some things like nausea, vomiting, and even weakness. Now, the potential of dehydration and electrolyte imbalance may lead to symptoms that can be serious, including, but not limited to, muscle spasms, again, weakness, twitching, numbness, confusion, feeling lethargic, convulsions, seizures, heart problems, including changes in blood pressure and heartbeat. I just wanted to make those things understood that this is not like a process that you should take super lightly, that it's a joke because it can be serious. But know your body, know your health, and consult your doctor before doing something like this. I had no problems at all. It did what it said it would do, which was to flush my system. I will put all of the instructions and directions as to how I prepared it. You'll find that in the description box, along with the Himalayan salt that I used for my mixture. And also that cute little jar. Now, if a person tries this remedy, they should make sure that there is a bathroom nearby because I promise you, yesterday we had the most delicious fish. Oh my gosh, the fried fish. Whiting fish is, what, is my favorite fish in the world. It's fried, I had coleslaw, and I had just sat down to eat my dinner. Woo, let me tell y'all. Mmm. Stomach started rumbling like the jungle, baby. It was on, and I could not even finish my meal because that was it. That was it. This is a surefire lens. I feel better. I feel relieved. Um, honestly speaking, for me, any feeling of inflammation in the body just gone. I feel good. Okay, I am saying I am. This is something again. You should make sure. That is something you can do because it's not for everybody. Now, some people do salt cleanses regularly. I only do this once a month, once a month for me. Okay. Other than that, I do try to eat my fiber. I do try to take any other type of supplements. Like I mentioned to y'all, Bellway. Bellway is good for cleaning your system or having regular stools. But sometimes there are things that you eat that need to be moved out of the way. Holiday season is one of those times of the year where you're going to consume a lot of heavy foods, sometimes a lot of beef, things like that that just needs to be moved and you'll feel that bloaty feeling that you can't get rid of, you know, that just just can't get rid of. Saltwater cleanses is one of the ways that I do that. You know, I've also had my run with Senna tea, which I will do that periodically as well. It depends on my mood and what I'm feeling like at the particular time of the month when I decide this is what I'm going to do is cleanse my system. But the thing with the saltwater cleanse, it does detox and remove toxins from the body for me, okay? So again, for me, once a month would be it. I basically, you know, as I said, I relaxed during the time. I watched a few videos, checked out a few things. And like I said, once dinner came and hubby came back with dinner, I went ahead and, you know, I tried, well, I, I tried to eat my dinner, okay? So that was that. So after a while, after laying there for a minute, I also massage my tummy. I massage each side around and around, and I also massage it in the center. This pretty much helps anything internally that's in your 
intestines to move around, to loosen up, you know, just like you would if you were jumping around. But laying down actually helps you have that feeling that, oh my gosh, something's about to happen. I did try to do as it states to hold off as long as I possibly could, which is what I did. But overall, beautiful babes, this is my take on the saltwater cleanse. I did it. I definitely find benefit in me doing it. Again, it's not for everybody. Consult with your doctor to see if it's something that you should do and um, work with it that way. And I do apologize if you hear my little heat blowing in the background because girl, I'll be chilly up in here, okay? So this is it. I thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. And I hope definitely that you can tell me if you tried this or not. Let me know and what you think about the entire process. I'm Sweet Angel signing out for now. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. I appreciate each and every last one of y'all. You know I do. You come back time and time again, and I appreciate you for watching. Don't think I take it lightly. I appreciate it. I do. I'll see y'all in the next video. Take care until then. And again, chime in. Let me know if you, in fact, did try the salt cleanse, the master cleanse, the salt water flush, whatever you want to call it. Um, but let me know if you did as well. Take care. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye now.